As a result of the violations of human and labor rights by the Mexican government, we have witnessed the assassination of four of our members, the illegal arrest and imprisonment of many of our members, including Juan Linares, in jail for over two years with no charges, Martin Salazar, still in jail in Cananea. These events have caused deep pain, sadness, and frustration. I was separated from my children and grandchildren for five very long years, and even though, through all of this abuse, I have kept strong. There, there was something that broke my soul, the death of my mother two years ago. I love her deeply. And I could not be by her side through the last years of her life. I had to say goodbye to her through a computer screen by video conference. I could not feel her weak breath. I could not touch her, hold her hand, I could not kiss her. I think about the suffering and pain of the families of our fallen mineros from Pasta de Conchos, who for five years have not been able to give a holy burial to their beloved ones. But we should turn all this pain to strength, the cruel, an irrational political persecution against my husband, Napoleon Gomez and Los Mineros, has been unprecedented. He continues to amaze and inspire me with his perseverance and courage to fight for the respect, dignity, and justice for all our brothers and sisters. Thank you. Is this why they are trying to punish him? Is it because he leads a strong and democratic union? Is it, is it because he works for the best interest of the workers and was looking for a better life and opportunities for them? As if almost they could predict this, six years ago, our visionary friend, Leo Girard, the respected international president of the United Steel Workers and my husband, Napoleon Gomez, president of Los Mineros Union from Mexico, signed a strategic alliance that has been the solid rock that has strengthened the solidarity between both unions. Who working together side by side with motivation, perseverance, and creativity have become one. They have stood up to, to these attacks and have fought back, becoming even stronger with the support of the federations and unions from all over the world. Our dear Leo, a man who, whose love and compassion doesn't know borders, we thank you for this alliance and commitment to the international labor movement. Unfortunately, the fight is not over yet. To this day, Napoleon continues to be persecuted in the most dishonorable and cowardly way by the current, by the current government of Mexico, colluded, colluded with companies such as Grupo Mexico. But they have not been able to defeat, frighten, or corrupt him. Those crooks who have illegally attacked Napoleon and who have acted against the rights of the workers shamelessly offered him $100 million in 2008 to give up the union and to stop his struggle for justice. His answer was no.
but they will not go and punish an in anonymity. Napoleon is currently writing his story, soon to be published in a book, where he will go into detail about the dates and the people involved in this and many other attempts to break him and Los Mineros Union. Under attack, forced to be away from his country, and with a spirit of progress, Napoleon continues to fight on, with the hope that this struggle will be for the benefit of all trade unionists, for a better future for Los Mineros and their families, and to show the abusive and corrupt governments around the world that the workers are not alone. Let's not allow the enemies of the working class to mutilate our children, our people, our societies. Our speci my special recognition to our front of women on defense of the workers' dignity in Mexico and all over the world. These great women are warriors. They have helped a lot to the workers in Mexico. From the bottom of my heart, in the name of our family, Los Mineros Together as One, we would like to express our love and gratitude to our dear steel workers and all of you here in this convention for your great heart, support, and solidarity. Hasta la victoria.